The next step in the case setup process is to configure boundary conditions for our simulation. A boundary condition applies constraints to a differential equation, which then yields a unique solution. Each transport equation that governs the fluid and solid behavior in the simulation requires boundary conditions. Improperly defined boundary conditions may negatively impact your simulation results in terms of achieving physically realistic results, convergence, and simulation runtime. Converge offers several different boundary types, which each have different requirements for boundary condition specification. After choosing the appropriate boundary type, you may need to specify parameters such as pressure, temperature, velocity, turbulence quantities, and more. This video will describe the boundary types relevant for this case. We can use the boundary section of the case setup doc in Converge Studio to set boundary conditions for the boundaries in this simulation. Click on Boundary. In the list of boundaries on the left side of the dialog box, click Piston. The piston is a wall boundary type. Converge prohibits flow through a wall boundary and requires velocity, temperature, roughness, and turbulence quantities if turbulence modeling is active. Click on the Boundary Type drop-down menu and select Wall. The piston moves throughout the simulation, so under Velocity Boundary Condition, click on the Wall Motion Type drop-down menu and select Translating. Additionally, Converge will move the surface triangles that make up the piston, and this piston motion will influence the adjacent fluid, so click on the Surface Movement drop-down menu and select Moving. Verify that Law of Wall is selected and check the Piston Motion radio button. Converge will move this translating wall boundary with the same velocity and direction as the piston motion. Converge uses the previously supplied engine parameters and a slider crank mechanism to internally generate position tables for the motion. Under Temperature Boundary Condition, verify that Law of Wall is selected and enter 450 Kelvin in the field below. Then enter zero for both roughness parameters. This value corresponds to a smooth wall and Converge assumes that roughness is constant across the entire surface. You have now entered boundary conditions for the piston boundary. Next, we will set up boundary conditions for the other boundaries in a similar manner. Click on the liner boundary. This boundary, like the piston boundary, is a wall. Use the Boundary Type drop-down menu to select Wall. Under Velocity Boundary Condition, click on Wall Motion Type and select Stationary. Under Temperature Boundary Condition, verify that Law of Wall is selected and enter 450 Kelvin in the field below. Enter zero for both roughness parameters. Next, click on the Exhaust Valve Top Boundary. Click on the Boundary Type drop-down menu and select Wall. Under Velocity Boundary Condition, click on the Wall Motion Type drop-down menu and select Translating. Then, click on the Surface Movement drop-down menu and choose Moving. Verify that Law of Wall is selected and that the User Specify Radio button is checked. With this option, you must supply a file containing the wall velocity or displacement from the location given in the surface file, which in this case is the previously imported ICE underscore geometry.stl. Check the Use File checkbox and use the gear button to open the Profile Configuration dialog box. Click the Import Data from File button. and select the exhaust underscore lift dot in file from the archive you downloaded. Click import to import the valve lift profile. Note that this profile also contains the valve direction and minimum lift information in the valve parameters section. Verify that the exhaust valve lift data has been imported properly and click accept. Note that this valve lift data applies to all three parts of the exhaust valve. Under Temperature Boundary Condition, verify that Law of Wall is selected and enter 525 Kelvin in the field below. 
Then enter zero for both roughness parameters. The boundary conditions are constant throughout the entire exhaust valve. Set the same boundary conditions for the exhaust valve angle and exhaust valve bottom. Next, click on the exhaust outflow boundary. An outflow boundary specifies flow going out of the domain and requires you to specify several boundary conditions, such as pressure, temperature, and velocity. If your simulation includes solving for species or passives, you must specify the species or passive fractions. If you employ a turbulence model, as we do for this example, you must specify turbulent kinetic energy, and depending on the model, either turbulent dissipation rate or specific dissipation rate. In this case, we must specify turbulent dissipation rate. Click on the Boundary Type drop-down menu and select Outflow. Under Pressure Boundary Condition, Verify that specified value is selected and enter a static pressure of 101,325 pascals in the field below. If necessary, you can enter a distance from the boundary pressure to a downstream pressure in the press dist field. This technique dampens reflecting pressure waves that may inhibit convergence. Alternatively, you can create a custom pressure profile by checking the Use File checkbox to launch the Profile Configuration dialog box. The following steps will demonstrate how to configure a profile even though such a step is not necessary in this example case. In the Type drop-down menu, select Cyclic, and in the Period field, enter 720 crank angle degrees. Then click the plus button twice to add two data points. Click on one of those fields and enter zero in the crank column and 101,325 pascals in the pressure column. Click on the other field and enter 720 crank angle degrees in the crank column and 101,325 pascals in the pressure column. The data range must match the length of the cycle. If not, Converge Studio will display an error message in the Case Setup Issues output pane. Note that adding two fields with the same pressure accomplishes the same thing as simply entering a static pressure without using the Profile Configuration dialog box. You can copy and paste pressure data directly into this dialog box from a spreadsheet of pressure values. Alternatively, you can import a file containing the pressure profile using the Import button. When you are finished, enter a profile name, and click Accept to close this dialog box. Under Velocity Boundary Condition, verify that Zero Normal Gradient is selected. This choice enforces a zero velocity gradient at the outflow boundary. Select Specified Value for Backflow. Outflow boundaries require input for reverse flow, or in other words, flow back into the domain. Specify realistic reverse flow inputs to ensure convergence. The boundary conditions can be either Dirichlet or Zero Normal Neumann. Under Temperature Backflow, enter 800 Kelvin. Under Species Backflow, click the plus button three times to add three fields. Click on a field you just created and enter N2 under Species Name. And 0.71913 for the corresponding mass fraction. Then add the species CO2 with a mass fraction of 0 0.19235. Finally, add H2O with a mass fraction of 0 Under Passive Backflow, click the plus button to add a new passive field. 
In the passive name column, enter exhaust. And in the value column, enter 1. For turbulent kinetic energy backflow, verify that intensity is selected and enter 0 0.02 in the field below. For turbulent dissipation backflow, verify that length scale is selected and enter 0 0.003 meters in the field below. Next, click on the intake inflow boundary. An inflow boundary specifies flow going into the domain. As with an outflow boundary, you must specify several boundary conditions based on the configuration of your simulation. Click on the Boundary Type drop-down menu and select Inflow. Under Pressure Boundary Condition, verify that specified value is selected, the Total Pressure checkbox is checked, and enter a value of 101,325 pascals. Under Velocity Boundary Condition, verify that zero normal gradient is selected. Under Temperature Boundary Condition, verify that specified value is selected and enter 363 Kelvin in the field below. Because total pressure is checked for pressure boundary condition, Converge assumes that this temperature boundary condition is total temperature. Under Species Boundary Condition, Verify that specified value is selected and click the plus air button. Converge Studio will automatically load O2 and N2 in their corresponding mass fractions into the species boundary condition box below. The species must be present in either the reaction mechanism or the species definitions and the mass fractions must add up to 1. You can use the normalize button to ensure the sum of mass fractions is 1.0. A passive is a tracer that flows with the fluid-like dye and is helpful when you wish to study processes such as scavenging. Adding a passive does not affect the flow field. You can specify a passive at a boundary and then monitor it as it moves throughout the domain. Under Passive Boundary Condition, verify that specified value is selected and click the plus button to add a new passive field. In the Passive Name column, enter Intake and in the value column, enter 1. For turbulent kinetic energy, verify that intensity is selected and enter 0 0.01 in the field below. Intensity is a special case of the Dirichlet or specified value boundary condition. Converge computes the turbulent kinetic energy from the specified turbulence intensity and the local flow velocity. For the turbulent dissipation, Verify that length scale is selected and enter 0 0.005 meters in the field below. Converge computes the turbulent dissipation as a function of a modeling constant, the turbulent kinetic energy, and the length scale, which is typically a function of the hydraulic diameter. We recommend starting with a length scale that is less than 10% of the hydraulic diameter. Note that if you have a boundary.in file, you can import this file rather than manually configuring the boundary conditions. To import a file, click on the Import Data from File button in the lower left corner of the Boundary dialog box. Select the boundary.in file and click Import. Converge Studio will display a notification because you have not yet defined regions. Click Yes to automatically create the necessary regions and then you can edit them in the next step. Converge Studio will take the information in the boundary.in file and apply it to the boundary section of the case setup doc. Click OK to close this dialog box. The following video will demonstrate setting up regions and using the compression ratio tool.